Hey guys, it's Hannah Stocking. These are my hot girl travel tips you need to know while traveling. The perfect travel outfit is a matching pair of sweats. So you're swaggy and chic. Definitely socks because sometimes they make you take your shoes off at TSA and then you don't wanna walk raw, you know what I mean? And uh, some slippers. This is my trusty travel bag. I could kind of act as a purse even though it's kind of heavy right now. It has a little pocket for my computer and it's waterproof. So if any of my sparkling water explodes in there, at least my computer will be okay. We will first start off with this L'Oreal primer. It's so awesome because it has vitamin C and I just love putting it on my face, especially before a flight and I also like wearing it before I put my makeup on. I love this perfume, child. A friend of mine, Whitney Cummings, wears it and she also said Jennifer Aniston wears it, so I obviously bought it too. It smells very floral. I can't travel without these Lumify eye drops. I take a lot of red eyes, and they call it a red eye for a reason. These just clear them right out. It makes you look bright eye and bushy tailed. This Dior lip gloss is to die for. I also have the lip tint as well. Mm, just goes on so nice and smooth. Oh my goodness, look how cute this is. My Lancome mascara, guys. I love this so much because it's kind of like a body hydrating, sparkly, shimmery goodness that you put on your chest or your arms or your legs to really just make you look glossy, glowy. This I can't go without. This NARS blush is beautiful. I mean, come on, look at that color. I like putting it under here too, so it kind of looks like I just got a little bit of a sunburn. <laughs> These are so cool. This is my NARS concealer. This is a color corrector. So if you're like me and you don't really sleep and you get really crazy eye bags, this color corrects it. So you just put it over the really purple eye bags that I have, maybe you have them too, and it neutralizes the color. And then you pop this puppy on and it's like nothing happened. It's like you get eight hours of sleep every night when you don't life hack. This is my daily foundation that I wear, Airbon. It's not foundation, it's actually a tinted moisturizer. So when I'm traveling with guys that I like, not plural, I only like one guy at a time. I normally travel with this if I am to wear makeup. I have only kind of put my makeup on in flight once. And yes, it happened to be during turbulence. A tip is just trying to keep a steady hand. Maybe put your elbow on the thing that pops out that you put your drinks on. Really just stabilize yourself. Also, you could wait till you land and then go to the nearest bathroom and then do a little spruce up. If I'm traveling somewhere, actually anywhere, I love wearing this. It's the ColourPop freckle pen and it gives you fake freckles. I normally just bum ba bum ba bum bum ba and then I If I'm traveling somewhere tropical where there's a lot of sun and I get natural freckles, I like adding these so then it looks like I have even more freckles. And I also wear this when I come back from a tropical place and I want to flex to all my friends like, hey, look at all my new freckles. But little do they know, they're half real, half huh, frank. I also love traveling with books. These are actually some of my two favorite books. The Untethered Soul, very profound, really helps with mentality and staying grateful and being aware of your thoughts. And then there's also my favorite book, Ubiquity by Dr. Natterson Horowitz. I love learning about animals and especially the similarities between animals and humans. Right here is actually talking about how bohemian wax wings sometimes gorge on natural uh, alcoholic rowan berries. So they actually get drunk off these berries and they fly. This is a freaking game changer, are you ready? Oh. This is an eye mask, but not just any eye mask. If you see it has little curves in it, I get lash extensions and I can blink or dream or whatever and it won't tear it off. It's very normal for me to fall asleep before we even take off and I find myself waking up by the impact of the landing. This is another thing that I love traveling with is this type of nipple charger. It's not called that, but it's the charger that goes on the back of your phone. Sometimes my AirPods don't work, so I actually really like the headphones that plug into your phone. So sometimes if you have those headphones, you can't charge it at the same time. But this way you can listen to it all plugged in and charge it. Travel hack. 
Speaking of phones, I have three of them. This is my phone that I always use. This phone is the phone that I travel with a lot because it has two terabytes worth of video and picture content. I use this old phone because it's so old that if I wanna post on Instagram with views, I log in and post with this. There's a new update that if you post with videos, it only shows the likes, not views. Oh, hair clip, amazing. Can't travel without it. A hairbrush. I always like traveling with sunglasses just for like privacy reasons. People are looking at me in the flight, I like popping these puppies on. Wow, I didn't even know I had this in here. I went to the strip club with my boyfriend and we left early. I support the girls, so I was throwing once that uh, my boyfriend actually gave to me. So it wasn't my own money, but you know, I was spreading the love. Then I just got real tired. So I actually called an Uber and I left with the money. Oh man. <laughs> it's getting crazy in here. Lots of uh, feminine hygiene products. I just have a bunch of gum. I hate morning breath. And if you're taking flights and going to sleep, I always love popping some gum after I land. So I just feel fresh. This is some CBD oil. I had knee surgery when I was younger, so sometimes when I fly, it gets a little swollen. So I like putting this on and just rubbing the knee out. Here's my highlighter, just in case I read something really awesome and I wanna remember it. Here's the mask that I wear on flights just to be very safe. And it's also great for privacy because when I sleep sometimes, my mouth is wide open and I don't really look too good. Here's my passport. I went to Japan recently. It was a lot of fun, but I was busy, so I was only able to go there for two days. Really quick trip, but one of the sickest trips of all time. Oh, here they are. Oh no, these are for my uh, laptop. I have these also for my phone that goes hand in hand with my nipple here. I would say good lighting and a lot of moisturizer. Make sure I have my laptop. I turn in all of my deadlines, all chargers, everything. Need chargers and comfy clothes, clean socks, clean underwear, and all of these necessities in order. Empanadas, I love empanadas. A bagel and cream cheese is amazing. I always get those big Icelandic waters in flight, sparkling water with some lemon or lime. I would freak out if I left my laptop, even though I don't use it, which is insane, and also my phone. I don't even think I would be able to make it on the flight without my phone. Probably the time when I packed my makeup bag in my luggage and I lost it. I was actually in Croatia. I don't speak their language. I hadn't even met up with my crew yet and I was hopping on the backs of motorcycles with just, you know, the locals trying to figure out where to buy makeup. That was a rough one. Probably one of my best friends. That would be so fun to run into Anwar Jabawi or Adam Waheed or Whitney Cummings. There was like a few months period where I would run into friends and actually sit right next to them on the flight. Like I hadn't seen g Easy in a while and then I was taking a random trip to Utah and we sat right next to each other. If you have any travel tips for me, please comment below because I might need them. And please make sure to check out at Hannah Stocking on all of my socials. I'll see you there.